Creighton Tata is one of the most influential business magnates India has ever seen. He has been significant in the growth of the 148-year-old Tata Group. Tata Group's major companies are Tata Steel, Tata Motors, Tata Consultancy Services, and Tata Communications. Tata was born on December 28, 1937, in Mumbai, in one of the wealthiest families. As a young boy, Tata had a disturbed childhood after his parents split. He was raised by his grandmother, Lady Navajbai, in the lap of luxury at Tata Palace. Brayton Tata would have been in a different profession today if you were not heading the Tata Group. He went to Cornell University to study architecture and structural engineering. Later pursued a management course from Harvard University. In 1962, he joined the Tata Group, and his first job involved working with the Tata Steel Division in Jamshedpur, where he worked with the blue-collar employees shoveling stones and working with the furnaces. He was appointed the director in charge of the National Radio and Electronics Company Limited, Nelco, in 1971 and successfully turned Nelco around. Upon assuming leadership of the conglomerate, Tata aggressively sought to expand it, and increasingly he focused on globalizing its businesses. In 2000 the group acquired London-based Tetley T, and in 2004 it purchased the truck manufacturing operations of South Korea's Daewoo Motors. In 2007 Tata Steel completed the biggest corporate takeover by an Indian company when it acquired the giant Anglo-Dutch steel manufacturer Chorus Group. In 2008 Tata oversaw Tata Motors' purchase of the elite British car brands Jaguar and Land Rover from the Ford Motor Company. In December 2012, Tata retired as chairman of the Tata Group. He briefly served as interim chairman beginning in October 2016, following his successor, Cyrus Mistry. Tata returned to retirement in January 2017, when Natarajan Chandrasekharan was appointed chairman of the Tata Group. Brayton Tata regrets that he could not practice architecture for long, despite earning a degree from Cornell University in 1959. Recipient of Padma Bhushan in 2000 and Padma Vibhushan in 2008, Raiden Tata continues to head the main two Tata Trust Sir Durabji Tata Trust and Sir Raiden Tata Trust in their allied trusts, with a combined stake of 66% in Tata Sons. He has been appointed Knight Grand Cross of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, and Rockefeller Foundation has conferred him with the Lifetime Achievement Award. He was also conferred an honorary doctorate in business administration by Ohio State University, an honorary doctorate in technology by the Asian Institute of Technology, Bangkok, and an honorary doctorate in science by the University of Warwick. Tata set a perfect example of generosity and leadership during the 26 11ths attacks. Unarmed, he stood all alone outside the Taj Hotel and supervised the activities to help the victims. A bachelor in real life, Tata loves privacy and shuns media spotlight. Standing tall with his contemporaries with a staggering fortune and world recognition, Rayton Tata has amazingly never featured in the Forbes billionaires list. Lessons from Rayton Tata. Be a visionary. Be humble. Never give up on values. Take risks. Motivate others. Have faith in yourself. Be open to criticism. Use creative tendencies. Get out of the safe mode. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. A famous quote by Rayton Tata. Take the stones people throw at you and use them to build a monument. Thank you for watching the video. Do like and subscribe for daily updates.